Hello and welcome back to Mega React. So today we are going to be watching What We Do in the Shadows, Season 3, Episode 1. I have waited so long for Season 3 for this show that I am adding it to my rotation, even though uh, <laughs> I have so many other shows I have to do. I just love this show. I cannot wait to watch it, so I'm going to get right into it. They're only like 22 to 24 minutes each, so they're pretty easy to fit in, and I just have to watch them as they come out because I love this show so much. It's hilarious. Nandor and Laszlo and Nadja, my Nadja, I love you. I've missed you. We also have Guillermo and the energy vampire. Can't remember his name right now. It'll come back to me, I'm sure. But we ended season two with Guillermo killing a whole theater full of vampires and the cat's kind of out of the bag now like he's one of the greatest hunters who's ever lived all of his vampire friends now know it and how are we going to go from there are the are like the entire vampire world going to try to hunt them and kill them are they going to be afraid of Guillermo is he going to work with them like so many things and I just don't have the answer to any of them. So let's hop right into this episode. See what happens. Please come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Super hyped. Let's get into it. It is a dark time. It's Nandor. A lot of vampires have been slaughtered. Yes. A whole lot. Not us, thankfully. We're fine. But are we? Don't think we are. <laughs> no, probably the worst not. Part is that it was our familiar. They did the slaughtering. It was Nandor's employee. Really, Nandor's responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Not Nandor. They're passing it off. Is it's Nandor. Guillermo, wasn't us. The familiar that all of us share command over and responsibility for is the one that did the slaughtering. <laughs> passing the buck. <laughs> but he did it to save our lives from the vampiric council. We know what we have to do. We have to put Guillermo to death before he puts all of us to death. But he saved our lives. He's our way of saying thank you for saving us, but sorry, you're a mortal enemy. You've got to die, babe. And we all need him. Familiar. You're you are familiar. Him, you bloody <laughs> the only one that can protect us. <laughs> How do you know he's not going to kill us? It is in his blood. <laughs> that was him. What could he want? Perhaps he is warning us of an imminent danger. Or maybe his poop bucket's full. We must check. I hope it's the poop bucket. Oh, and while you're Y'all have him locked up? Kill him. Yeah, the poo bucket? If you want to live long, Good to be back. You're, you're, dead, dead, you're, you're dead, dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead and out of this world. How long has he been down here? Almost a month. Shit. A month. And you've not decided his fate yet. Well, I have certainly been decision trying to. decision like that, there's a lot of moving parts. Day 30 of imprisonment. Not bad, actually. I get pretty good Wi Fi down here, so I've been able to re watch some of my favorites. Nice. Do another round of nice. Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I can show you around if you Never want. seen Gilmore Girls. Here. I know Sam this Winchester's on that show. There's my mini fridge. And there's the chicken they think I eat raw. And some Yoohoo's. Yoohoo's? Not that bad. That is where I. Um, yeah, without me, the vampires don't know what they're doing. Like, literally, they can't do anything without me. They can't even imprison someone. You want to see something cool? And here's the little secret. <laughs> He's not even locked in. I just wonder what would happen if I wasn't here to help them out. They're like family. I know. Codependent much? Family who wants to kill you, dude. It's time to move on. Oh, shit at all the bats. Or all those crows. But the vampire code stands. He killed vampires, therefore he must be killed. What about the warrior's code? A man who saves your life in battle should be owed a debt of eternal gratitude and mercy. How are you holding up? Yeah. Come see, come see. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so, Me neither. Has there been any updates on my fate? No. It's really looking like we're going to end up killing you. Well, I'm a soldier. Yes. Not... A great warrior like you, of course, but oh, thank you. Playing it up. Nonetheless, who saved your life I would do it again in a heartbeat. Because that's the code I live by. The code of the warrior. The code of the yes. warrior. This is what I've been trying to tell them. Oh, shit. Ow. Fucking splinter in the <laughs> Which reminds me. 
Oh shit, what is that? Mist form. What the hell? Like a mist vampire. Time for the slayer to slay. Slumbering in your coffin, knowing that bloody Guillermo's poncing around the house. We send back. It's misformed, dude. It's impervious to physical attack. What the heck? Is he with the stakes? Stand back. Just trying to kill all of you. Congratulations. With the help of your bloodthirsty minion, you have eliminated almost 70% of the most powerful vampires in the tri state area. Shit. I am pleased to announce that you four are hereby appointed to what be the, the leaders of the vampiric Whoa. council of the eastern seaboard of the new wow. world. No well, way. Well <laughs> they failed up. <laughs> of course, it's the vampire government. Of course, they fell up. FML. Hell yeah. I love FML. It is a great honor. But wow. Also, you know, quite a responsibility. I didn't become a vampire to end up a pen pushing bureaucrat. I became a vampire to suck blood and to fuck forever. But you must admit, this is quite good. an honor. I couldn't give a fuck. Those are good goals. Drink blood and fuck forever. Should I turn it off? Who is he talking to? Just turn it off. Lords and ladies, I have assisted every local vampiric council since 1759. And now we have these guys, which is whatever he <laughs> was above my pay grade. You know. Once the leader of men, now a leader of vampires. That one matter still remains. What to do about Guillermo? Do you have to chain me? Oh, no. Then why did you do it? In the case of Guillermo, Greenberg, De La Cruz, in the killing of many, many vampires, hmm. we have come to a final decision regarding your fate. Not to kill you. At least not right now and not for this particular thing, but my eyes are on you. You were shitting yourself for a second there, weren't you? Well, but... In fact, for our own protection, we have decided to make you a fully-fledged member of the team. What? Vampire? You're gonna make me a vampire. What? Of course we're fucking <laughs> not, you idiot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. We are gonna make you a vampire's bodyguard. <sighs> so I think. Not, not really what a fully-fledged member of the group... Well, it's, gonna be, it's a big bloody step up from being a familiar, and it's way better than being dead, so you're gonna take it or leave it. Take it. <laughs> kind of bitchy. Okay, okay good. I love it. it. All those in favor of accepting his acceptance, say, hey! Yeah. Is he immune? Between you and I, vampire hypnosis doesn't work on me anymore. I mean, it used to years ago when they first started doing it, but I guess after a while, my body just got immune to it. When you when Perfect, you Hunter. Nando. And they used to use it on the stupidest things too. Things I would have done anyways. Oh. This is my favorite room. This is very nice. And I'm sure it's you very nice. Remember the judgment chamber. No. Could we forget? Yes. I remember where the well. fancy dance the last was. Time we were in this very room. We were sentenced to death, and Wesley Snipes was right over there on a laptop. Right. And now you're the ones who'll be sentencing other vampires to death. Yeah. Yes. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. <laughs> but whatever. Above my pay grade. He. Only mm -hmm. one throne. Which one of you will assume the master throne? This is going to cause conflict. All of us. Only what? So who? Will be the supreme leader who rules over all others. Paper, uh, rock, scissors. Uh, Fuck no. Uh, I'm doing the best one for it. <laughs> like, it was like, yeah. It was like, no. I hope Nadja gets it. All right, I'll be right back with you. So that was what we do in the shadows season three episode one a good opener episode it has set things up brilliantly all four of them are on the council now they're gonna fight to see who is the supreme head vampire i love it we have Guillermo fully taking on the role of vampire protector i was hoping he'd get turned into a vampire maybe by the end of season three we shall see but really not much else to really say because it's really just setting up the way this season's gonna go i think you know it picked up right from the end of season two 
Let us know what's going on with the council and how they are reacting to the mass slaughter of vampires. And they handled it pretty well, pretty well. I think we're just gonna have to see where this goes in season three, because honestly, it could go anywhere. And I am down for it. So if you're down for it too, please come on this crazy, what we do in the shadows adventure with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.